Hello there, kitties. I'm carrying the vacuum tube witch. Today is the red letter day, the 16th of November, right after the Artemis 1 mission liftoff. I'm very proud of NASA and everyone of, of the Earth to go to the moon. I was very happy to watch the launch live. And uh, when uh, when I was there at uh, at the friend lab stream, uh, someone mentioned uh, Sigourney Weaver um, commenting on the on the launch, and um, this reminded me about uh, this uh, little plot in Alien and Aliens. Uh, it was about uh, Joan Lambert. Uh, being one of the early examples of uh, of uh, transgender representation in in movies uh, in sci-fi and uh, while uh, it is uh, pretty nice and joyful to to have her as um, as an example of uh, representation because uh, what the what the filmmakers did right was uh, it was not um, just um, making her a stereotypical trans woman and not killing her off uh, she was the penultimate uh, character before Ellen Ripley to survive uh, on Nostromo but uh, then uh, in the second part of uh, of the series in uh, in Aliens, um, Ripley reveals the personal files of the crew of Nostromo, and uh, comes up uh, with a file for Joan. It was mentioned that uh, she was uh, a female unnatural which would uh, suggest that she was a trans woman and uh, the further info uh, mentions that uh, she was a um, despin convert at uh, at birth so uh, she would have uh, she would have uh, the the bottom surgery at birth no, not because um, not because she was dealing with um, with gender incongruence or dysphoria through through her life and decided to transition and uh, this brings up to a little problem that i would like to discuss about um, about whether it is really a um, a good example of um, of transgender representation, I would rather I would rather say uh, that because the the surgery was done uh, <coughs> at birth or uh, very early in her life when uh, she didn't ha have any experiences. Uh, the experience of so, to, to the problem why it was done who decided um, for it to be done and uh, this um, this kind of suggests that uh, either it was her parents who wanted to have a girl or it um, or uh, that uh, she would in fact be intersex because this is um, this is still happening the the normalizing surgeries of uh, intersex babies uh, then the thing that was uh, pioneered by uh, john money the one who just uh, thought that uh, if uh, if you can um, if you can uh, perform a bottom surgery on a baby and then bring them up uh, as uh, the, the gender that uh, 
matches the the new the new anatomy, then everything will be fine. Uh, of course, it proved bullshit. Like uh, like there w there is uh, innate uh, gender identity. <laughs> That's um, that's also why uh, us trans people uh, are in fact there, because uh, if everything be was uh, dependent on on the upbringing, then <laughs> we would never <coughs> we would never have that chance so, of thinking otherwise that uh, <laughs> that we might not be the same gender identity as uh, as the sex assigned at birth and uh, the, the question is uh, pretty open I I haven't even done uh, that much uh, research on that uh, I guess it would uh, involve uh, Talking with the with the creators, so uh, what they meant, uh, or looking for for some articles and interviews uh, who with the with the creators. Uh, of course, uh, it was the end of the 1970s, and uh, all this discourse about uh, about gender identity and uh, trans issues, about uh, intersex issues, uh, it, was, uh, it was not uh, really there. It was almost absent. Uh, trans people were in the dark back then. And <laughs> it was only recently discovered. Uh, I, read, I read the article on Pink News um, about uh, an example of uh, early trans uh, representation in movies uh, in uh, in Alien, but uh, given the fact that um, John Money worked uh, in the seventies, then the situation uh, could pretty much be possible. And not um, and not as much uh, criticized, uh, given the experiences of uh, of people who were operated on um, back when uh, when they were babies and uh, and their identity uh, proved, uh, in fact. Um, different than uh, what was reassigned and uh, by the way the, the current American politics uh, yeah the, the right wing uh, shouts against mutilating babies mutilating children but uh, what the fuck are they doing about uh, the normalizing uh, surgeries on uh, intersex babies they do nothing they they keep the shit in place so uh, they have this uh, double standard where where it is okay to make uh, drastic decisions uh, sometimes even lying to um, to the parent, to to the person involved, uh, making drastic decisions in the name of social conformity, in the main, in uh, the name of uh, upholding the the binary sex um, and gender division, like. Uh, there is only male and female. There's nothing in between. That kind, that kind of shit that uh, proved uh, that uh, that proved wrong because um, the reality is much more complex. Uh, not just uh, when it comes to our identities. I mean the non-binary non people, but uh, also to our biology. The, the different factors that uh, that comprise uh, 
our bodies um, like um, like the anatomy, the hormones, uh, the the genotype, uh, and uh, you know all that stuff, all, all those uh, layers, the the physiology, the functioning of the brain. The we only start to realize the complexity of this all, and um, and there will always be naysayers who want to stick with uh, with the earlier outdated and uh, overtly simplistic views because they are so much easier to to understand and uh, and to stick to right right yeah right <laughs> Okay, so uh, that was um, that was a few words and questions about uh, about the about Joan Lambert and um, about um, the um, whether uh, whether she was in fact um, intersex or whether some something happened. Um, in the in the childbirth uh, that uh, would would be an, an argument uh, against the um, retaining the the male uh, sex and gender of course uh, we can't uh, we can't uh, also ignore the um, patriarchy that was uh, probably in the in the world um, of uh, of alien, because uh, it was in the in the real world here on Earth. It was uh, it was the times of the second wave of feminism, and uh, things were vastly different back then. Bye.